Hi guys, I'm Becca and I'm a second year student nurse at the University of Nottingham. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't seen a video of mine, then welcome. Firstly, I'd like to apologise that I haven't posted a sit down video this week. I have been feeling quite rough all week, not feeling very well. I'm feeling very sorry for myself. So I thought that I would have a little retail therapy trip and that I would bring you along with me because this is something that I do quite often on my days off. So I thought I would do a day in the life of my day off. So I am here in the car park of Meadow Hall and I am here with my sister and my mum and I am on a mission to find some Halloween t-shirts and some more music t-shirts preferably some of some really cool bands that I like so here we go Christmas ornaments. Primark is ready for Christmas and so am I. There's elf ones. Oh no, no. 81. Oopsies! We got a little carried away in Primark and ended up getting two ginormous bags full of stuff. Oh, we were trying to scare you. Oh, We've been to Primark, H&M and New Look so far and I'm quite disappointed at the lack of t-shirts although we did manage to spend quite a lot in Primark and get two large bags even though I only got two t-shirts. Our next stop is Superdrug. It's a must every single time we come to Edible. Every single time there's a Superdrug we always have to stop. Mostly because of Makeup Revolution. I'm actually kind of obsessed with Makeup Revolution right now. I absolutely love the foundation. I only ever used to use high-end foundations such as MAC and Urban Decay, but somebody actually suggested to me the Revolution foundation and I have not come back since. And it is so much better than any of the high-end foundations I've used and it's so affordable as well, so I'm currently obsessed with Makeup Revolution. Our next spot on the mission to find some band t-shirts is HMV, baby. It's not a musical top, but it's a Bill and Ted's Excellent Event t-shirt and I absolutely love that film, so I think I'm going to have to wear this. This is the coolest thing ever and I really want it, but it's £180. Oh my god, look, it's Will's house and it's an upside down. So cool. Because it is near Halloween, they have all of the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff and I love it so much! So, so cool, I want all of it! So, so cool! I am obsessed with the Disney ornaments, we have about 500 of them on our Christmas trees. You ready? The special ones that sing in, we love them so much. They have Haunted Mansion ones and Haunted Mansion is one of my favourite rides at Disneyland. Um, it's Phantom Manor at Disneyland Paris, it's one of my absolute faves but then also Haunted Mansion at all of the other parks. I love it and I'm obsessed with these and I'm definitely going to buy these for my Christmas tree. This is my sister Emma Hi. and every single year for Christmas we buy each other a mug normally from the Disney store so we're just browsing to see what we might want for Christmas. That one so much, it's Jasmine's Tiger Training School. I love that so much because Aladdin is one of my favourite Disney films. I absolutely love that. I love the new Disney Pixar ball one too and it's massive. Imagine how much tea you can get in that, it's huge. I'd be so happy with a, with a mug of tea in that, I really would be so happy. But they have so many cute options this year as well so I'm very excited to see which one I get. We are absolutely shocked out so we have decided to come to the food court and get some dinner. Mum and Emma have gone for Five Guys and I've gone for some Barber Retail. They do an excellent deal where you can get two tacos for like £5.80 or something. But they also have a student card where you can get 20% off and you also get a free meal on your birthday. So I have one of those. They also do student and NHS discount and also discount for if you work medical as well. So I love going there. I got two chicken and chorizo tacos. The shop's soft shell tacos are the best with the medium salsa because the mild one is just normally tomatoes and onions chopped up and I don't like that and also with your tacos you get some chips. I got a drink from there as well and I also got a drink from Five Guys. I got a Powerade Zero because I just needed a little bit of energy. After eating our dinner we are all well and truly stuffed so we are going home. It's about a 40 minute drive back home 
and then when I'm back I will show you everything that I bought today. So guys, I am finally home and I have just set my phone up really quickly so I could show you everything that I got. So I'm going to go through shop by shop, um, stuff that I bought from each shop and yeah, you know how a haul works anyway. The first shop that we went into was Primark and as I said before, I was on a mission for Halloween t-shirts and for like music and movie t-shirts. I was kind of disappointed in Primark's selection of t-shirts because they only had about five different designs for t-shirts. And then the rest was all jumpers and the reduced summer stuff. So I was really disappointed in Primark. But I did get a few things, not just t-shirts. So the first t-shirt I actually picked up was this one. And it is was £8. It is this plain black one with prints on it. I absolutely love music from the 80s. So this t-shirt was an amazing find. I love it a lot and I will definitely wear it all the time. My second t-shirt I got was actually £2.50 because it's just a simple printed t-shirt and it is my only Halloween top that I actually managed to get today. It says resting witch face. I love it very much. I saw something like this online and I really liked it. There was another one that I really liked but they didn't have it in my size so I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to go to a different Primark and pick it up there. The next thing that I bought in Primark, I'm actually starting to get quite a collection of these. My dad has so many trainers, it's unreal, and I'm kind of starting to become a bit like my dad. I'm getting a bit obsessed with cool trainers, and I've actually bought a few pairs of trainers in Primark over the past couple of months, because I just think they're really cool. So I got these ones, and they were £14. They are big, chunky trainers, and I would definitely get a lot of use out of these, because the current ones that I have from Primark are just plain black, and I wear them literally all of the time. The next item I got from Primark is an item that I wouldn't normally pick up because I only normally wear them when I'm lounging around the house but I couldn't resist picking these up because they say Nashville, Tennessee on and I would love to live in Nashville anywhere in the world that I could live. I'd love to live in Nashville, you know, it's the home of country music. I'd absolutely love to go there and to live there. So I picked up these joggers. They were £5 and they just say Nashville, Tennessee on them and I probably will get a lot of use out of them when I'm at uni. The next item I got in Primark is this headband and it was £2.50. It's just a normal knot headband and it's actually velvet. I don't normally like things made out of velvet. I don't like velvet t-shirts and things and dresses because I don't really like how it feels. But headband, I'm, I don't mind. I am kind of becoming a headband fiend. I'm starting to make a little collection of headbands and hats and stuff. I think I just kind of want to be Blair Waldorf so I've just bought uh, just a plain black not headband. I also bought this mini black paddle brush for 90p in Primark. I did have a small paddle brush from Primark which had an Aladdin pattern on it but I seem to have misplaced it. It was in my backpack which I carry all the time but it's not anymore so it's just disappeared and I'm not sure where it is and this was only 90p so I just picked one up because why not? The last thing I bought in Primark is probably the thing I'm most excited about that I picked up there and it is this stainless steel NASA water bottle. If anyone knows me I am obsessed with space and NASA and all things spacey and planet-y so I am absolutely buzzing that I got this. I've been looking for a stainless steel water bottle for ages because I'm on like a zero waste journey. I really want to reduce my single plastic waste so I can help save the planet and save the turtles. I have lots of stainless steel straws and stuff so I've been looking for a stainless steel water bottle so I can use it. It keeps hot beverages hot for 12 hours and cold beverages cold for 24 hours so this will be really useful when I go on placement and it was only £8 so it is such a steal. I am so excited that I got this item and with that I now have a cap. So the next shop that we went into was Superdrug and I just picked up another Revolution foundation. If anyone's interested, I'm shade F1 because I'm really, really pale. I said when I was in Superdrug that I used to only use high-end foundations like MAC, Urban Decay, Bobbi Brown. And then somebody suggested that I try this one and I absolutely love it. And it's so affordable because it's only £8. Because it's only £8, so it's way better than having to rebuy all of the high-end stuff, which can be like £20 to £30. So I'm absolutely buzzing. That I managed to get another one of these. The next store that we went into is a favourite of mine and my sister's. It's called Typo. It's, um, I think it's a chain. 
it there's like um, stationery and games it's kind of quirky so we decided to pop in there because they had like a massive friends display at the front so we decided to go in and have a look we didn't actually buy any of the friends stuff but we did buy some other stuff so this is what i bought in typo the first item that i saw and i picked up because i knew I, I absolutely had to have it was this finding nemo phone case it's got bruce and his shark friends on it and it's got glitter behind it i am absolutely obsessed with sharks and disney so i knew i absolutely had to pick this up finding nemo is one of my favorite disney films so when i saw this i just had to have it it was 12 pound so very happy that i have this the next thing i picked up was this car phone mount so that i can mount my phone to my windscreen so i can use it for gps and stuff and it was on sale for six pounds so absolutely love that the next two items that i bought at typo are a little bit explicit so i'm sorry if you're not into that kind of thing and you might be offended by it but i'm sorry but i really liked them so i picked them up so just like skip past this bit if you don't want to see them so i first picked up this mug and it has like boobs and bums on it and it says like female future um current relationship status self-love and it's all about self-love and empowering women and they were three pound fifty each or two for six pound so my sister picked one up as well um not one of these but a different one and the next item was on sale for a pound and i didn't see it until i actually went up to the desk to pay so i just picked one up and it is this notebook it says I have zero blanks to give it's been censored lovely by the shop and it actually has grid paper in it i didn't realize it had grid paper in it when i picked it up i just kind of saw the front and saw it was on sale for a pound so i picked it up but i will definitely be using it probably for a and p revision because with the grid paper it's easy to do like diagrams and stuff like that so i will be using this while i'm at uni the last shop that i bought some things in was hmv i went in there because i thought that they would have some music tops and maybe some movie tops of some bands and films that i like so i went into there to have a look the first thing i got was a hoodie and they actually had a big sale on where a lot of the hoodies were five pound but this one was still full price but i had to get it anyway because you you will see in a minute it is this oversized hoodie and it just has the star wars logo on it it was 29.99 because it was just full price for the regular hoodies that they have in there and I just knew I had to have it. I love Disney and I love Star Wars, so I knew I, I knew I had to pick it up so it could go along with some of my other Star Wars pieces that I have. The next t-shirt that I got in HMV is from one of my favorite movies of all time. It's an absolutely crazy movie, really, really silly movie to be honest, but I absolutely love it. And it's from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. It just has Bill and Ted on the front. This was $12.99 and I am actually really buzzing that I got it and I will be getting a lot of use out of it. The last t-shirt that I got in HMV was on sale for $4.99. They were having a huge sale where loads of their hoodies and t-shirts were on sale for $4.99 and I managed to find this one in my size and it is this Ministry of Magic t-shirt from Harry Potter and if anyone knows me they know I love Disney and Harry Potter so I just had to have this. I have a few Harry Potter t-shirts already so I'm just adding to my collection. The final item that I bought at Meadow Hall were, is this game. It is called What Do You Meme and it's the UK edition. It's like Cards Against Humanity but you have to make memes. You pull out a picture card and then everyone has to put a caption forward. My mum actually bought an expansion pack a Mean Girls expansion pack to What Do You Meme a couple of days ago because we played Cards Against Humanity a few weeks ago and she saw it and thought that I'd enjoy that but um, with the expansion pack to get like the full experience we kind of needed the whole game as well so I picked up the full game today and it was $27.99 and we are probably going to play this tonight I am very excited to give it a try Okay guys, so that's it for this week's video. Again, I'm really sorry that there hasn't been a proper sit down video, but I have been feeling really rough and feeling really sorry for myself with illness and things like that. So I hope that this vlog and haul makes up for that. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and hit the bell icon so you don't miss a single one of my videos. Thank you so much for all of my new subscribers that have come since my last video. And thank you so much for liking and sharing the videos. Please keep on doing that. I will see you next week with another video. Goodbye.